Hi, so today I am going to tell about diabetic nephropathy. So diabetic nephropathy is the most common cause for end stage renal disease requiring renal replacement therapy like dialysis or renal transplantation. So what is diabetic nephropathy? A diabetic nephropathy is a serious complication of long-standing diabetes which is seen in both type 1 and type 2 diabetes mellitus. Here there is a damage to microvasculature of kidneys which is also called as nephrons. A nephron is a functional unit of kidney. The main function of the kidney is to filter waste products and toxins and remove from the body as well as remove excess of water from the body. So as with the advanced diabetic nephropathy, there will be accumulation of toxins and excess of water leading to uh, signs and symptoms of congestive cardiac failure as well as your severe uremic gastritis and other complications of severe uremia. So what are the risk factors for diabetic nephropathy? So it is very difficult and very complex to pinpoint a single cause for a diabetic nephropathy. So there are various risk factors. So one of the most important risk factor is duration of diabetes. So there is a classification of Mogensen's classification of diabetic nephropathy. So every five to eight years of duration of diabetes, there is some structural and functional changes in the kidneys. So stage one of uh, diabetic nephropathy the there is a hyperfiltration in the kidneys so it's also called hyperfiltration stage in this hyperfiltration there is the increased gfr and and on the ultrasound you can see a renomegaly so this is the stage one diabetic nephropathy stage two is uh, microalbinuria so there is a loss of albumin in the urine so this is stage two stage three is there is a macroalbinuria there is a larger amount of albumin and protein loss in the kidneys. Stage 4 is an advanced stage where along with the loss of proteins there is an increase in the creatinine and stage 5 is end stage renal disease requiring renal replacement therapy like hemodialysis and transplant. So this is the one of the uh, risk factors that is the duration of diabetes is the most important risk factor for diabetic nephropathy. Second is uncontrolled diabetes. So higher the blood sugars, there is a high glycemic toxicity leading to further acceleration of diabetic nephropathy. Third is hypertension. So hypertension, there is an increased acceleration of diabetic and progression of diabetic nephropathy. Fourth is, see it also depends on the age. As the age increases, the risk of diabetic nephropathy also increases. Fifth is the gender. It is more, more common seen in the males. Also sixth, if the person of diabetes is, uh, is, take, is smoking, there is a risk of vasospasm and further progression of diabetic nephropathy.